got blue on this side and purple on the other side. Which well, one? Of the same right. plant? No. Oh. No. But this little pink thing, that's one of the ones that I'm drying. Over here, this funny thing with the little brushy top. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's one of the ones to dry. And uh, then the, the purple ones up there are gold. Thank goodness. Marigolds are stinky. Stinky. Yeah. Yeah. No, it gets a little bigger, about like this. Huh. Well, those things... And were you surprised to find that the fruit came out round? Mm -hmm. Or did you fi try to make a round fruit and then be surprised to find that the vine didn't spread? I think it's neat! Because <laughs> I figure it had to be a surprise. I'm going to from here. From here on down that way. And this is cow manure? This is all cow manure. But he put, chicken, he put cow manure on this too, didn't he? Oh yeah, he? yeah. sure. But the chicken is on here. Yeah. Well, we don't have enough chicken to cover the whole thing. Okay, this is another thing I'm drawing for my thing. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. We'll have to see if they check and see how they're drying. I don't know. They're supposed to be drying. Who knows? Boy, I can't believe how many weeds are in my garden, Gunner. The what? I can't believe how many weeds are in my garden. Very happy yeah, weeds bit. down here. <laughs> I don't allow any weeds in my garden. But that's what two weeds in Madison does for me. Yeah. Huh. That's yeah. 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 Yeah, it does look like skin. And it, when you stir fry it, it just disappears. Sweet beetle. And it doesn't look very nice to get some bug holes. Swiss chard. Beet. Beet. Oh. Quiet that brings me deer meat sausage. My marigolds are supposed to keep these on. Oh, yeah. But if I plant the marigolds right next to them. Because I don't poison them. Yeah, we have it too. We got that too. Oh, I'm not doing well on Garlic in it. Yeah. Peppers. But they're just about done. Not so bad. But half of these are red salad potatoes and half of these are white. Are those different kind of onions you got going in between the marigolds? Well, they're the same kind. I just, I got one of these little packages for a dollar and it was too many and I didn't know where to put them so I stuck them in between the marigolds. If I don't use them, it's okay. Now we'll have green beans for supper tonight. It turns them very greenish and you're not supposed to eat that. There's actually a toxin in it. I have a feeling that. Probably just make you nauseous or something? Oh, well, I don't even know if it does that. Sometimes when you get potatoes in the grocery store, they're green, uh -huh. so I'm assuming nobody's going to have any liability for that. But supposedly then the straw just keeps it from letting it scald any of those potatoes that might peek out. And the white potato variety, particularly the potatoes, are real close to the surface. The red potatoes we discovered are a little bit farther down. Live and learn. I'm, every year I learn something new. It's a bean? Yeah, I dropped it the other day and I couldn't oh. find it. <laughs> Some horseradish. That Ooh, I love horseradish. Yeah. Oh, yes. this stuff will put hair on your chest. Stuff. I like that kind. It makes your, your sinuses uh, completely <laughs> evacuate. <laughs> That's it. And then you see God. <laughs> I like that. You know what your next crack should be? Morel mushroom. Well, we have them. Do you? Do you grow them or you no, find them? No, they're just wild. You know? Well, we went to Maine. I shot everything in motion picture film. We're lugging around this big camera and shooting 16 millimeter motion picture film. And I put it on a re big reel at home and I got a projector and I'll show it up on a big screen and stuff. Sandy got a big kick out of it, but I wasn't going to oh, lug it up here. I was, no. But again, you can see it's awfully weedy because we don't put the herbicides on, but it doesn't seem to affect Oh, my glass Oh, I leave town. I can't believe it. The, my two dogs, my two cats are like my children. It's like, I go out of town. I get a, we get a house that is with uh, Sandy's friend. And uh, I don't care what happens. Those dogs will get out. Yeah. It's not the fault of the... Those dogs will get out of the fence somehow. <laughs> They're looking for yeah, you. Yeah. They're punishing me. <laughs>
Yeah. And Costello just run down to the creeks and go for a swim. And then they're back in the front yard waiting for somebody to come home and feed them a milk bone and they're happy. <laughs> Nice breeze, too. Mm -hmm. There's a little plastic flat bottom boat down here. If you feel so inclined, this pond you can paddle around in. That's definitely high on my list. I've never been on this pond. Oh, yeah? Uh-uh. What are these berries? Uh, honeysuckle. Honeysuckle bear? I've never seen them berry. No, uh -uh. Not edible, don't you? Wow. <laughs> bird, oh, they're bitter as hell. Southern honeysuckle doesn't get berry. That's honeysuckle. That's what our guide said. <laughs> what it is. What's in the bird boxes out? I see a big. Yeah, we've hatched off wood ducks. Oh, wood ducks. I think we hatched them off in all four of the bird the wood duck houses this year. And we only saw them once, once a mama with about 14 babies, but the water wow. is so much higher this year that I think there's just any number of places they can hide back in the cattails. But we haven't seen them. You're talking about geese. Wood ducks. We had wood ducks in all four of the houses this oh. year. How does, how, why is this area clear and over here? Um, wind, wind, just wind. Yeah. It moves around, the duckweed moves around. That's why nothing grows out here. There's no weeds and nothing in there. On account of that duckweed. Sun yeah. don't get down there. And oh, okay. Yeah. A lot of cattail. They are a narrow leaf cattail, which the naturalist tells me is a desirable cattail. Mm -hmm. So um, we had hired this naturalist to come and give me an overall appraisal on what I had and what I needed to do and kind of lay out about a 20 year plan. Mm -hmm. Because I, I mostly didn't want to. 20 years from now, I'll have somebody say, you know, if you hadn't done that back in 1996, you wouldn't have this problem. Problem, now. yeah. <laughs> well, trying to reestablish native things is, far, is re relatively difficult and a long-term process. It's a very long-term process, yes. But I would say out of all of the things that he told me, and I have a huge notebook and many notes and mm -hmm. recommendations from it, it is well worth the money that I spent on it. Um, I, most things are very favorable, and you just have to decide in your mind if you want a pond that looks like this, or mm -hmm. if you want one that looks like you can swim in it. Mm -hmm. But for wildlife, this kind of pond is better. Yeah. It's not the greatest for people. It's yeah, but it's for... better for the wildlife. Oh yeah. That was a mallard, wasn't it? Oh, it kind of a reddish head. It might have been a ruddy duck. But it definitely wasn't a woody. A big old turtle crossing the lake over there. I just saw him. Did you? <laughs> he just went in. They usually go plop off the logs in here. Looked like a big old snapping turtle. Oh really? I've gosh, at one time I had like 30 odd turtles at home. Oh, wow. Yeah. My mom loved it. I was the one that brought the snakes home. Yeah. Like, Mom, what kind is this? And she's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Take that thing outside. Same time well, it's not hurting me. How can it hurt you? This is a native milkweed that I'm real happy to see. It's called a swamp milkweed. I actually purchased some to try to reestablish this year. But somehow the, the climate must have been especially favorable for them. I have them growing up in other places. Wow. It's pretty. I'm glad to see it. Yeah, it's a real good butterfly and bee. And I wish I could. It's been a, been a while since I've been in college, but I majored in uh, botany for two oh, years. Oh, yeah? 
And I, you know, from a technical standpoint, I could I, I could tell you what this is like an what they call it a head venation. That's the, the the way the plant comes oh, yes. to a head like uh -huh. this. And it gets pods like the other milkweed, mm -hmm. but they're flatter. Mm -hmm. It's a Asclepius incarnata is the, the Latin, name of it. yeah. So. Oh, because at nice one time I, I had aspirations of being a uh, landscape architect. Uh -huh. But then I found out that there was no money in it, really. <laughs> that it was just, you know, like I, I like the outdoors and stuff. I ended up just cutting grass for a company after that that while I was going to, work, yeah. going to school. And I was like, this isn't making me happy. <laughs> Got to make a living at it. Yeah. A lot of leopard frogs. Oh. Boy, you got a lot of. Oh, oh, look at all yeah, these guys. They like that duckweed. Yeah. They can get around. And they make the niftiest tadpoles. The bullfrog tadpoles are about this big. Oh, yeah, tadpoles. they're huge. But this roadway has been raised up, going to raise this up about a foot. Mm -hmm. Again, based on our naturalist who said that if you could keep Johnson here, yeah. <laughs> That sounds exactly right to me. <laughs> yeah. the, the way the world works. And See the kind of morality I was raised on? <laughs> good, good thing the insurance pays are that thing. This is the second time we've had the fire trucks out. So we are learning how to do this. <laughs> Out, but it's, it's, uh, we ended up with, the so we had a windstorm the other time. It's sweet, because we got a recommendation to plant this kind of corn because it gets taller than regular sweet corn and the ears are supposed to be higher yeah. off the ground so the raccoons can't bend it over so mm -hmm. and, and eat it, but now if it's going to fall over on the ground, that was a big help. Or the wind. I, we just couldn't believe it. We just were just stunned to see all this corn falling. But fortunately, we plant enough corn for at least the immediate world. <laughs> no, I'm afraid it's not ready yet. Deer teeth. Yeah. They've tried to be ready. Hmm. It's just one though. Look. That's really baby corn. It's very sweet. It's just tiny. It's called the variety is called candy corn. So. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Myrtle? makes a fence. <clears throat> it has to have limestone based water source. See? Learn so. Not acid. <laughs> this is my vacation. Oh no. These are tennis <laughs> relatives. Man, you can't do that in the north. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I haven't had time to touch up my lipstick. Yes, and I'm not as quite as fresh as I can be, but that's the size. Hollywood. <laughs> 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 
turn the shirt inside out. <laughs> you turn the hat inside out, too. Yeah. That would be neat. I just packed it right Diane, did you ever go make a softball hat? No. Did you wore it today. Hat? Sandy said I have to get loose it. I have to lose it. He likes the old hat. A guy. He has worn the hat though. Oh yes? Yes. Apparently. Is that what I said? <laughs> I hope this is reality. Your, your reality. It must be. Yeah, this is reality. Doctor, <laughs> the 
head. <laughs> we can still smell it. <laughs> Why don't you get out and see if what happens? Is it? Yeah, it's still there. I see it. Go ahead and play with it. You don't have to go. Ring them, baby. Be animated. Smile. There you go. Make them make more noise. Can't hear a word you're saying, of course.
Say something, Sandy. You can. I love you very much. <laughs> I'm going to talk about the room. Uh, the room is uh, called the uh, Turkish Nook. And. Um, Speak up so I can hear you. This is. Um, <laughs> I can't think of anything to say. Go ahead, say, just say it's the Turkish it's Nook a room. It's the Turkish Nook. Uh, this house was built in 1852. And. Um, it's now a bed and breakfast, which is the nicest bed and breakfast we've ever been in. And, um... That's it. <laughs> thank you. to hear thank you very much for having us for the weekend and making it feel so comfortable and welcome. I loved it. I really enjoyed it. And I think I enjoyed it so much. When I come back, I have to say it. Thank you. Thank you. You know the answer is yes. Oh, by the way, these are your grand animals. This is Sugar Bear. They are the reason I married them. Um, <laughs> this is Jill. And this is Jack. Jack and Jill. The dogs of the hill. Uh, we'll see you sometime this fall.